So this guy is uh, being ridiculous, little Napoleon here. He just keeps pacing around looking up at me like, are you going to come out and play with me or what? Like I've tossed him peanuts, I toss him food, he eats a little bit here and there, but then he keeps looking at me like I want to hang out with you. <laughs> what? What do you want? You're going to climb up here, I know you are. You're going to climb up here and you're going to crawl into my bed and take a nap. I see you in there. Come on out. I put some little cookie pieces by you. He is using my tunnel. You know, and it's so comfy in there too. I have blankets. I got a little kind of carpet hammock that I made. Oh, here he comes with his back arched. There you go. We're going to do it like that for now on. <laughs> oh, he's going to take it into his home. There he goes in the tunnel. Yeah, it worked. Oh, come on, grumpy boy. I brought you a whole bowl of water. Because if you're going to have cookies, you're going to need some water. That's right. That's what you needed. See how much I love you? Do you have an odd disposition? Yes, you do. There you go. You're such a good boy. Are you coming back for more? See, I don't have to hand feed you anymore. I learned my lesson. This is good enough. I think he has the hiccups or something. <laughs> do you have the hiccups? <laughs> you do. You do have the hiccups. Oh, don't be shy. Oh, am I making fun of you on camera? I'm sorry. You gonna go back in your home? Yep, there he goes. Okay, there's a cookie when you're ready. Hi, Mama Moira. How you doing, sweetie? Okay, Miss Moira. There you go. I have some peanuts. Oh, there's Big Ebony. There's Heather. This is our new favorite spot. Watch out for little Napoleon. He's hiding in there. It's gonna ambush you. Cutie, cutie, cutie. I see you, girl. I see you. Who do you have behind you there? Oh, that's the female that lives back there. So here we go during the day again. And uh, they're showing up, these females. They are starving. Because they got babies in the oven and that was all out of dog food. I had to run to the store, get some dog food. But my wife put some peanuts out for them. We gotta keep these girls happy. Oh, cutie baby. What are you doing? Are you so hungry? How many are in the pouch that you're feeding? You gonna give me four? You gonna give me five babies? Maybe six? Who knows? That's gonna be an exciting moment when that happens. I see the wind is taking my tarp apart. So that's a bit of a, a block for me over there so that the neighbor can't be nosy. So, but on windy days it doesn't always work out. I cut those slits in it as you see in that tarp to help the air go through. But sometimes it's too strong and it pulls it right off the, uh, the upper clothesline where I have clothespins keeping it in place. I'm really looking into privacy fences for over there and uh, more bushes and stuff. I just don't have time. I'm so busy with my job and uh, a little bit achy today. But maybe you can see what I see underneath there. Her teats are starting to hang really low. So yeah, she's going to be a mama. Oh yeah. Those are full of milk. My cutie girl, if not already, is going to be a mama really soon here. That other one too. Look at that. Yeah, they're really starting to show. So, yeah, I'm thinking um, beginning of June, we could see some little babies coming right down this pathway. And that's going to be so exciting. Okay, cutie, I'm back here giving you some food too. There you go. Let me get you some fresh water. Sweetie, I'm sorry, I have a job. I gotta work all day. Someone got this dirty during the day. Probably little Napoleon, huh? You're such a cute baby. You're gonna be a sweet mama. I know you are. You're gonna be a good mama. I see how aggressive you're getting, trying to protect what's in the oven there. 
Cutie, cutie, cutie. Be good to little Napoleon. Hey, come on over here. Come on. Hey, hey, hey. I got a cookie. It's worth coming over here. Come on. There you go. Goodness sakes. Oh boy, so I just saw him cross the street. Someone was walking a dog. He had to go behind a half wall in front of someone's house. Oh, he's becoming so predictable coming at this time of the day. This is like, what, four days in a row I'm seeing him. Little Napoleon, stand in your ground. I think he loves this tunnel of mine. He was going in and out of there so much yesterday. Okay, got a fresh bowl of water for him. There we go. We'll get rid of this nasty one right here. You guys get five-star treatment from me. You know that, right? You know that, little Napoleon. Hey, monster. Yeah, it ain't gonna be out of my hand. I'll know that much. I'll give you a little treat. Grumpy boy. <laughs> there you go. Then you go hide in your little spot. Okay, hang on. Hang on. Oh, arch that back. Tough guy, of course. Hang on a second here. Okay, tough guy. You want some peanuts? There you go. That's what you wanted. You want some peanuts. You guys are so spoiled. You get everything you want. You ain't gonna bite my phone. Ooh, that's so much fun in the water. So I don't know about you other guys that feed raccoons, but I've always noticed if you put something like peanuts in the water, it is pure heaven for them. It's just, they already like to dunk their food, so you're kind of doing it for them. And they can just feel so much better with their paws when it's wet. I need a bowl over here just for you. Come on, be good. What do you want? You want peanuts? Oh, I know what you want, Miss Cookie Monster. What if I put it in with the peanuts? There you go. There you go. Oh, you're such a grumpy boy. She's pregnant. You gotta give her her space. There you go. Eat, eat, eat. So it's that wonderful time of the year where there's a special smell in the air. And you're thinking, apple blossoms? Cherry blossoms? No, fertilizer application. <laughs> All the neighbors are getting their lawns sprayed right now. And oh my goodness, it just stinks. And they put those nice little signs in the yard that says uh, pets and people stay off for 24 to 48 hours. And they have no signs for the raccoons because they step on it and they get it on their paws and they lick their paws and I have no idea what that does to them. Now I know these guys keep living year after year and visiting me so it must not be that bad but just the thought of it is ugh. Oh my goodness, you got a cookie. Oh, you're so tough. You're so tough. You better get it. You better get it, girl. I got your cheek. I got your nose. You gonna let me feel your baby belly? Eh, she doesn't want me to feel her baby belly. Oh, you're really standing your ground today, buddy. You're such a tough boy. <laughs> he gives me that look like any closer and I am biting that phone out of your hand. Yeah, I'll give you your space. And by space, I mean I'll give you a <laughs> one more inch. He's pretty tolerant. I'm like a foot and a half away from him right now. He's a good boy. He's just uh, grumpy. Oh, here she comes. Hey, cutie, can you come on up for me? I want to see your belly. Can you come on up, cutie? Cutie, can you come on up? Oh, look at those teats. Look at those teats on the big mama. 
Oh, you're snorting at little Napoleon, I know. Oh, you're making her nervous. You want her to go into labor? Cut it out. Okay, hang on. You too. You too. I got you on the head. I got you on the head again. I got you on the head again. I'm not afraid of you. Just a little bit. <laughs> Just a little bit. He's a little bit unpredictable. But even in his fierceness, I'm starting to learn his facial expressions on uh, when I've just done it. Done a little too much. So, like, when I hold out a cookie, he wants it, but then he kind of puts his ears back like that. Like, I'm going to lunge for that cookie. There you go. Try and catch it. And so I know when those ears go back, that's when he's about to do his lunge for it. And then I just toss it real quick. But I can touch him on the head. And he's alright. He's not going to like lunge at me and bite me or nothing. Okay. Where's cutie monster? You know what buddy? I got to go inside. I got to eat too. Can't always be about you guys and your bellies.